Okay, it's day two on my research expedition into Connecticut. Um, really big day yesterday, so hoping for some similar successes today. I'm about to go eat breakfast. Not going to try the waffle maker today. Kind of scared of it. So just going to have some cereal. Then we're off to Bridgeport. Uh, not sure where I'm going to go first. We'll have to see. Here we go. Okay, we've had Rice Krispies and we're ready to go. Uh, looks like we're going to head first to Sen or excuse me, Representative, um, I think his last name's Himes office. Uh, I want to follow up on trying to get access to the vital records. So I'm going to go see the Bridgeport representative to Congress, see if they can't help me in some way. Um, we also have the library to go to today as well. There's a lot of records there related to Bridgeport's history, so I think we're going to check that out. So off we Across go. the street is Representative Himes's, um, his office, so we're going to go in there and see if they can't help. Okay, we are outside of U.S. House of Representatives, Jim Himes' office. So let's see if they can help us. Well, unfortunately, they weren't able to help. It's uh, not necessarily considered a federal matter. Um, however, being in cross state lines, I was hoping that might give them some reason to want to address this, but they were very nice, so all was good. And anyway, we're going to continue. Okay, we're going to try again. We're going to walk in and ask to speak to their supervisors and see if they can help at all. Here we go. We're crossing the street. It'd be pretty fascinating if I got hit and that was all recorded. Probably make America's Funniest Videos. Okay, we're going to go in. Wish me luck. Okay, redemption. I went in and I spoke to the woman in charge who was very nice. What a wonderful woman, and um, she basically uh, took down the information that I needed and she's going to check on it and said to come back in about an hour and she would have this information for me. So like I said, she was very nice, very helpful, um, so uh, the state of Connecticut has been redeemed. Um, they, they did a really nice job there, so we'll see what kind of information she can find. Okay, while I wait for her to check out the records. I'm going to walk to the Barnum Museum just to check it out, um, have my handy GPS set to walk mode so it will tell me how to get there. So anyway, we're going to try and walk to the Barnum Museum and figure out uh, where that is. On my walk to the Barnum Museum, I see the People's Bank for Bridgeport mammoth structure but it now appears to be a restaurant Roberto's don't think I've seen that happen to a bank before very okay, and there it is there's the Barnum Museum the Barnum Institute of Science it says right up ahead how exciting to know that P.T. Barnum lived in Bridgeport. I think I knew that, but had forgotten. But anyway, I don't know if he and Roland Bradley Lacey's lives ever met. I'm sure they did, since Lacey was so involved with local government and with um, the history of this area and all of that, and he lived well beyond Barnum's years. So I'm sure at some point they had had some sort of a relationship with one another professionally. But anyway, here it is. Again, the Barnum Institute of Science and History, right there. Okay, that was very interesting. I did not go through a tour of the museum yet. I'm gonna come back. I just checked out their gift store, got some books on the history of Bridgeport and then also a, an autobiography of Barnum that he wrote himself, of course, being an autobiography. Um, but anyway, it, it looks pretty interesting. It's highly embellished, I'm sure, but it nonetheless could probably give us some more information about what Bridgeport was like 
at the time that the Lacy's were living here. So that'll be interesting to look through, and I think that's going to give some more information for a future podcast. So now I'm heading back to the Office of Vital Records and Statistics to hopefully find out how Edward and how uh, Jane passed away. So we'll see. One thing to take note of, um, in the Office of Vital Records, it says on a plaque outside the building, Abraham Lincoln visited this city Saturday evening, March 10th, 1860, and delivered a political address before a large audience of citizens in Washington Hall, which was then a portion of this building. So um, it's pretty, pretty fascinating. 1860 would have been three years after Jane Eleanor Sherman Lacey died. Would have been one year after her husband had remarried. So quite possibly he may have been in attendance to have heard Lincoln. It'd be interesting to see if we couldn't find out what that speech uh, related to in March of 1860. Very interesting. Okay, a small success. Um, she was able to find Jane's death record, um, not Edward's. The records don't go back to 1852, so I need to figure out where to look for his death record. But according to the records, Jane died of, and she could, couldn't really make out what it says, purple, P-U-E-R-P-E-R-A-L. So I'm going to need to look that up. Mania is what the cause of death was listed as. So anyway, kind of exciting. So um, we're off now to go check out, I think, the museum before too long here. I think it's uh, about 1120 or so. So I think I'm going to go do that now.